साधना जी गीतावाणी श्रीनिवास एंड प्रकाश एंड ऑल ऑफ यू इन द ऑडियंस सो वॉट आई वुड डू इज आई गिव यू अ ब्रीफ ओवर व्यू ऑफ सी सी एम बी नॉट टू मच एंड आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अ बिट अबाउट वाई दिस एग्जीबिशन इज रिलेवेंट टू वॉट आई मीन वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉट आई वेन आई लाइक ओवर द लास्ट टू ईयर्स मेनी टाइम्स आई हैड एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट स्टूडेंट्स हु आर इन एट्थ नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ दे कम पार्ट ऑफ मेनी प्रोग्राम्स टू सी सी एम बी वेन यू इंटरेक्ट विद दैम यू रियलाइज their curiosity is immense this exhibition's basic purpose is actually to take care of some of those curiosities but in a very pointed way this is from the genetic makeup and with respect to hereditary and how diseases happen and stuff like that so this kind of an exhibition can be extended to many other things including chemistry and geophysics i mean i'm sure those things will happen by and by and all of it the or the support for this has come from gignasa's uh, money that is given by the csr gignasa network and that is completely headed by geeta wani here it started in 1977 within iict and it was at that time iict was called rrl and our own campus which is next door again came out of iict land was uh, inaugurated in 1987 26th november and it was all the work for the ccmb for founders is basically in a found, ccmb was done by our founder dr pushpamitra bargava and uh, he is basically built an amazing campus out there and a vision which is something which is unparalleled even today's time we i look back and see how what kind of a visionary he is like you know the kind of institute he has built we have three campuses one which is right next door uh, is around uh, where we have many of these things that happen structural biology to crop technology and then we have another campus where ecology wildlife conservation and uh, wildlife forensics happen this is called lacons and then we have an innovation hub where we have uh, diagnostics for the wildlife as as far as the human diagnostics also happen there and there is an incubation center for the companies um ccmb is one of those leading biological institutes in india with facilities that are almost unparalleled and it has all the facilities that are necessary for performing high i mean uh, high quality biological research you can bioinformatic facility all the way up to cryo em facility so we over the last 30 years now have performed in addition to this work on various societally important problems like see dna fingerprinting originally started off in ccmb it ultimately went on to become an institute called cdfd which is where all the fingerprinting happens today we are also involved we are involved in samba masuri uh, which used to like you know improve samba masuri rice which is essentially used to get blight problems and uh, they we generally ended up coming up with a improved samba masuri which is resistant to blight and has much lower glycemic index we did a lot of work during covid and uh, in we were also involved in introduction of the mouse deer and wildlife diagnostics all these things and most recently sickle cell anemia we have screened almost 28 lakh population for sickle cell anemia that is a very brief thing about ccmb before i want to get into what is the basic purpose of such kind of exhibitions we all know how our cells look right we have many compartments many things that are part of a cell and we all know also something called central dogma where a dna gets converted to our genetic material gets converted to rna and which in turn gets converted to protein so the exhibition actually has certain um certain uh, you know certain places where these processes have actually been clearly de- uh, explained using uh, exhibits that are there in that first of all my congratulations to ccmb and uh, vitm for this wonderful initiative of this mobile science exhibition on genetic diseases so this is a gene health connect knowing about uh, genes again already told uh, our vinay told about this about the genes knowing about genes and genetic diseases is very very important for all of us there are many diseases personally i had an opportunity to work with uh, ccmb colleagues uh, on sickle cell anemia 
and i'm sure there are many I'm, i it will be interesting to know about more diseases and it is always helpful for our uh, future generations as well so this mode of mobile science popularization communication would definitely help us in bringing awareness among general public particularly among the enthusiastic young students so may, they may not get opportunity to visit uh, science museums they are mostly located in uh, big cities but this kind of museums definitely will help uh, I mean like even rural areas and small places this uh, mobile van can reach there and we can we can go visit that place and know about more about uh, this particular I, mean, i know this is about uh, genes but sim similarly we can also create uh, other science activities as well so namaskar welcome and good afternoon to every one of you i am very happy thrilled excited and happier than anyone who is sitting there in that auditorium why because initially i was also dreaming and planning that i will also be joining there physically but uh, being a uh, director general you know uh, the travel the time the meeting plans everything is susceptible to get changed and therefore i am not fortunate enough to join there physically but then uh, i am really happy to share my thoughts through this kind of a connect that is virtual connect friends today is a very very important day and i should place on record my appreciations and my congratulations uh, to the entire csr family with a special reference to director ccmb the jigyasa head dr geetavani raisam and also i should uh, really congratulate and appreciate the efforts that we received from uh, nsam because they are really coming with a kind of lot of energy and when the madam was talking the earlier speaker she was fondly recalling that this is a kind of a reunion after 45 years madam more than you we are also feeling so much excited to join hands with you and to you and the friends today is a very very important day that is 8th of may is the world thalassemia day meaning is and this year the team is given us be aware care and share meaning is first you make yourself aware of what is this thalassemia or what is the kind of a disease it is and how it should be understood how best it could be really planned to be mitigated and to what extent science and technology could be exploited for this purpose do we have any scientists in india who can really help you out and if at all some scientists are there where are they coming from and where are they available and what are the ways and means by means of which you can really have access to those kind of scientists so these are the very very important points of awareness that all of you should really make it especially on today and this is where the event of today that is gh connect gene health connect which is getting established through this mobile science exhibition is gaining its paramount importance i would say so far the uh, uh, i would say the two alphabets gh means either we will think about uh, a guest house or a government hospital but today they are coming up with a kind of a new name it is gene health connect because once we were thinking that health means it could be really having it could be monitored and it could be really controlled in a big way by way of nutritional values and somebody will say that by way of having good lifestyle practices you can really ensure good health and if you just ask somebody from like a, a physical actress and all then they will say a kind of a exercise physical exercise is needed to maintain a good health but now we are coming up with a kind of a new definition that by way of doing gene editing by way of really understanding the functions of gene and how genes are functioning how best they could be edited how could they be arranged and sequenced by means of which even if we have some inherent problems due to birth that could also be really addressed in a major way i think this is where one can appreciate the depth of science and today we are here to get more and more understanding that what are the best ways by means of which one can really have better control over this inherent diseases 
friends a country like india where it is already rich with population even after this kind of the richest population even today when a child is born two things are very important the first exciting question is whether the child newborn is a male or a female that is the first curiosity and the second curiosity is whether he or she is resembling father the more or mother the more so there in the within the family if at all the child is resembling the father then mother will be waiting for an opportunity and after uh, maybe one or two months or one or two years she will say even though appearance wise he is resembling his father all his activities all his qualities all his talents all his capabilities he is resembling only me as his mother so like that this father and mother always there will be a healthy competition within the family just to celebrate the child in terms of he resembles me the more he resembles me the most like that so that is the kind of a bond that a family is always celebrating at the same time when the child is growing and growing and when we become older after 40 plus we really be doing it the other way we will say oh my father was having sugar and therefore i am also prone to become a diabetic person oh my mother was having this kind of a disease and therefore i will also prone to get this kind of a disease so these days it is becoming very very common that father and mother they are not leaving back the children the kind of education that they gave for the child they are not leaving back only the properties and assets that they earned earned for the children but also unknowingly they are leaving back some kind of diseases or i would say some kind of possibilities also prone to get kind of a xy disease also launch this uh, gh connect that is gene health connect mobile science exhibition yes all the very best um there is going to be a video now which is going to be played please uh, yeah watch it Thank you.